Hey everyone, Huawei and Neo clash over the future of battery swapping, highlighting differing views on technology and market strategies. A full-fledged battle is underway between Huawei and Neo. What's particularly interesting is that just a few weeks ago, Neo president, Kim Lehong, tried to persuade Huawei on stage to join the swap network, expressing optimism that they would consider swapping. However, it's quite intriguing that a chief technology officer at Huawei mentioned regarding battery swapping, replacing, and supercharging, that advancements in battery technology are progressing so rapidly that supporting old batteries becomes a significant burden. This was exactly what they said. Furthermore, Dr. Shin Fei, head of Neo Power, remarked, You should know that those who are unaware should refrain from speaking. In other words, they've simply become those who speak only to experts. So this was certainly a response. Huawei chief technology officer is telling them that they don't know what they're talking about. Huawei chief technology officer is saying that all Neo batteries are currently 400 volts. All swap station batteries are 400 volts, and if Neo launches new cars with higher voltages, they cannot phase out current batteries because there are still customers driving them. So this becomes a burden in the sense that you can't convert all batteries at swap stations to 900 volt because there are still customers driving with 400 volt. So they are stuck in this generation of technology. This is what they're saying. Of course, NEO can launch a 900 volt, 75 kilowatt hour battery pack that can support current and future generations of NEO with super fast charging. But of course, it takes time and money. And of course, this means that the current batteries will eventually need to be replaced with those that support fast charging. This will also be quite expensive. So, this is the point they are discussing. But Neo Dr. Shin Fei says that as they continue to build more swap stations, they will be able to support more and more different battery types and varieties. Envo Battery Pack will be there. Neo 120 kilowatt hour battery pack will be there with 900 volt chargers. Very, very fast. But I understand they're saying it's a burden. But actually, it's not that much of a burden because Neo just needs to build more swap stations. That's it. The problem is solved. Huawei chief technology officer also mentions that they still prefer EREV. In terms of the fact that gasoline is still used, in emergency situations when you need to determine long ranges and there are no charging stations nearby. This is a valid point, but it will eventually phase out because with battery swap, there is upgradability, which I think Huawei CTO is not thinking about the upgradability aspect of Neo battery swap stations. The fact is, if you need to determine long ranges, instead of carrying a gas tank, you can swap a 150 kilowatt hour battery pack and you can drive very long distances, but there aren't many such things yet. All Neo. But this is a proven concept. This is working. It's working right now. They have these 150 now and are on every swap station. Actually just a few, okay? I'll be honest. Just a few, maybe 10, 20 swap stations. But they are still gradually rolling it out and installing it in many swap stations and then it will be very convenient for those who actually need that extra range. This way, the problem gets solved. You don't always have to carry a gas tank with you. And you know, most EREV owners, right, they drive and never touch gasoline for six months, eight months, or even a year, and the gasoline in their car expires. Meanwhile, they are carrying this heavy gasoline, heavy gas tank, and heavy generator with them. You know, this way the whole car doesn't remain energy efficient, and they are driving it like an EV. This is a very useless thing, but you can understand both points of view. The Huawei CTO says that this will get stuck in old technology. You can't advance to the next generation of technology. Whereas, the head of Neo Power says, there's also the aspect of battery upgradability. I mean, why are you still carrying a heavy gas tank, right? Go watch the video which has an important message. If you look at the issue of LiDAR, there's a difference as well. Some people use 15 50 nanometer wavelength LiDAR, while others use 800 nanometer, which cannot see as far. And when you look at the same scenario, NEO can effectively break in advance, while a ITO has difficulty breaking. 
the second time it actually failed and collided with the dummy, which was quite unfortunate. Moving forward, Huawei and Neo are going to become some of the biggest rivals because Huawei has its own Harmony OS system that they want to install in every EV and EREV. They are continuously working with big companies. They are working with Cherry, they are working with JSC, and they are also collaborating with large traditional automotive companies like Stellantis. This has been quite successful for them. They have their own software package and autonomous driving solution. And they have their own technology when it comes to EV tech and EREV tech. NEO is a major competitor for them. And they definitely want to compete with NEO. They are also aiming for the high tier price category. The only difference is that NEO is a pure EV, while an ITO and these others are EREV. Even though they sell EVs, their EV numbers are significantly lower compared to NEO. But still, they sell a lot of cars. Huawei is launching new brands with all automakers. Some of these will be pure EVs, and some will be EREV. All of them will continue to fight for market share in a very crowded market. And you know, they are absolutely competing with each other. And it's very good that NEO doctor, Xin Fei, has responded to them. Because often you see that many other companies, like Lai Auto CEO and all, talk all this nonsense and say that NEO products are useless. Whereas in reality, it might be the opposite. And NEO just does, I don't know what, properly. And I think it is the responsibility of investors that EREV should be launched. And I think many investors want NEO to launch EREV because it is going to sell. It is going to provide a lot of profit. But NEO purpose, or NEO mission. The meaning of NEO goal is that blue sky is coming. Do you want blue sky or cloudy skies? So their mission, their purpose stops them from this path. And it is clear that battery swap is an excellent solution for range anxiety. And then, I don't know, this happens very quickly. It is easier than a gas tank, isn't it? So take it for yourself. What is its value? A battle is beginning between the two. I don't know who is winning, can't say at all, because these are both big companies. All right. But in my opinion for sure, I will say that NEO has better tech. Huawei and NEO are locked in a debate over battery technology. NEO advocates for battery swapping, highlighting its flexibility while Huawei contends it's outdated and burdensome. Both companies are fiercely competing in the EV market with divergent technological visions. Thank you for joining us today. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more stock predictions and market insights. Remember to turn on the notification bell so you never miss an update. Happy investing, and see you in the next video.